Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we are trying the all-in-one salon kit by Model Ones and basically it just comes with everything you need. So let's open this up and see exactly what we get. So the first thing we have here are the instructions. So before we get into all the colors and poly gels and all that stuff, here's what comes underneath all that. First thing we have here is a 180 grit hand file. Then we get some tweezers, some dual forms, a cuticle pusher, a cuticle scraper, a poly gel brush, a nail duster, and these rainbow tapes some nail gems and lastly we have the nail lamp it is this really cute pink color and it also comes with cord so at the top of this kit you first get some uv gel cleansers base coat and top coat and you get poly gels and these gels so the first poly gel color is pink the next color is clear and the last color you get is white then these gels which are like really creamy consistency um you get all these pinks and then a brown as well as a purple and then you also get this really beautiful purple shimmery color and then you get some silver hollow glitter as well as some blue hollow glitter and here are all the colors so what i'm also going to be using to create this nail set are these heart glitters and lip glitters i got these on amazon and the next thing i'm going to be using are these big nail charms um these were eight dollars on amazon were they worth it absolutely not i mean eight dollars for this uh-uh don't waste your money. Um, I thought they were gonna be much bigger, so that's why I got them, but no. And I'm also going to be trying this LED flashlight. Um, I've always wanted to try these because, I don't know, sticking your hand in the nail lamp all the time just doesn't work for some things. So I thought this flashlight would be like really good. So besides all that, let's just get right into this nail set. So we're first gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles. Next, I'm going in with my cuticle scissors and cutting off that excess cuticle. Now I'm going in with my nail clippers and cutting off my nail growth. And then I'm going to be taking my hand file and smoothing out the free edge. And then I'm going to be taking my fine grit sanding band and remove the shine from these nails. And now I'm just going to dust off all that extra dust. And then I'm going in with my nail tips. I got these on Amazon. These are the Yamart nail tips. First of all, I used these nail tips before, but I got them in like a bag. And this time I was like, okay, I really want them in a container because that would just be so much easier. So I got them in this nail tip container and absolutely not. <laughs> I paid a dollar more to get them in the container and this container is broken. So I had to put that ugly piece of tape on it to keep it together because I was not having these nail tips fall everywhere. Mm -mm. If you're going to get these Yamart nail tips, they'll be in the description, but do not get the one with the box. Just get the one in the bag. The box just broke the first time I opened it. Anyway, I'm going to be gluing on these nail tips using some KDS glue, and I'm just going to be picking out my sizes and gluing on the nail tips. I really like these nail tips, but I'm first just going to say that I don't think I should have used these nail tips in this video. They just, I don't know, I really believe that nail tips can make your set look some type of way, look different. If you use some really good nail tips, your nails can always turn out good. But I just feel like these nail tips just did made my nail set look a little funny. These nail tips are really good for stiletto nails because they're like perfect stiletto shape. I wanted coffin shaped nails, like really tapered square and i don't think it worked <laughs> glued on the nail tips and then cut down some of the nail tip to make them not stiletto then i went in with my fine grit sanding band and removed the shine from the nails as well as blended the nail tips in with the natural nail So after I wiped off all the dust, I'm going in with some Young Nails Primer and I'm putting two layers on each of the nails.
Next, I'm going in with base coat, and I'm going to be painting a layer of base coat on each of the nails and curing that in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. Next, we're just going to be going over my failed attempts at this nail set. We had a couple fail attempts, honestly. Um, I usually don't add this part into the video, but I just really wanted to show you that. Sometimes nails, the nail designs don't always work out. That I have an idea in my head and then I try it and I just really don't like it. So this was one of the times where that happened. So I went in and just started off with the pink gel. I first of all used the wrong color. I wanted that the really light pink color that looked almost nude. Yeah, I wanted to use that but I accidentally used the wrong thing and I didn't even notice I used the wrong pink until I was already done putting all of it on. So I did four layers of that and I just put it on the nail without putting poly gel on first because I was gonna put this on the nail. And then I went in with the um, heart glitters and then I was gonna encapsulate. I didn't wanna put poly gel on, paint the nail, and then put the heart glitters and then have to encapsulate. So I just felt like that was too much. So I just painted the nail and then put on these heart glitters and then encapsulated. I painted on some base coat and put on the heart glitters and then I really looked at the nail and I was like, wow, this is ugly. So I wiped off the heart glitters and filed off that pink gel. My next attempt, I went in with the pink poly gel and just put poly gel on my thumbnail. I used, first of all, way too much and it was just not working around the cuticle. It just kept wanting to flood my cuticle. I put way too much. I added um, the heart glitters again because I wanted a heart glitter ombre, you know? So after I added on the heart glitters, I cured the thumbnail and I looked at it again and I was like, wow, this is actually ugly. That pink just looks so bad. <laughs> it looks bad because it looks like it's trying to be like a nude color, but it's like off, you know? It just doesn't look good. So I gave up on the thumbnail and I moved on to the rest of my nails and I just went with something completely different. So I went in with the clear poly gel and put a layer of clear poly gel and also some of that purple gold gel. And I just basically made a shimmery gold poly gel. And then I went in with the hearts and just added some hearts onto the nail and then went back in with the clear poly gel and encapsulated. The thumbnail was just a fail basically. It was really bad. <laughs> I was like, okay, well this pink poly gel don't work. I used the wrong gel and I didn't want to do that all over again um, so I just went with something different for the rest of the nails So on to the next finger, the middle finger. I'm going in with this clear poly gel and just putting that at the tip of the nail. I should have done all these nails in two beads, but I don't know what I was thinking. I was just like, let me just do one bead. That No, it didn't work with this poly gel. I should have done two beads. It was just way easier to manage. And after I have that smoothed out, I'm going in with the heart glitters and then I'm just basically doing an ombre, heart glitter ombre, which I wanted to do on the thumb, but it just didn't work out. So I'm doing that on the middle finger and this worked out so much better. It looked so much better with just clear because I was like, okay, I could use just a nude poly gel that I have, but I don't know. I just didn't want to. So I just went with my natural color nail bed showing through. And yeah, I put on the heart glitters and then I encapsulated with some more clear. Then on the ring finger, I'm going in with the clear again and adding some of that purple gold gel. And then I'm just putting that on the clear and patting that around to make it a gold shimmery clear poly gel. And I'm just putting that on the nail and smoothing that out. The ring finger for some reason is so narrow. I have no idea. Like it's the nail tip. I don't know. It just 
looks so thin and i don't know it looks a little weird this nail tip on the ring finger because if i used a bigger nail tip it would just be too big for my ring finger so i used the one that fit and it just looks so small i don't know <laughs> i think it looks a little weird anyway besides that i'm going in with these really cute like hearts that have cutouts in the middle and i'm just putting it on a straight line in my nail and i think it looks like i don't know it adds a little something different to the nails and i really like it because i feel like i would have never have done that but i'm glad i thought of it because it looks really good after that i'm moving on to my pinky finger and i'm just putting a really thin layer of the clear poly gel and then i'm going to be covering the whole nail with the hearts I have to say I think the pinky nail design is one of my favorites. Covering the whole nail with the hearts just just really I think it looks really good. And now I'm just going back to the ring finger and encapsulating and then I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the pinky finger as well. Now we gotta fix this thumbnail. Yeah, we gotta fix her because I cannot leave her like that. Um, I was gonna file off the whole nail and just try and file it down and just use the nail tip that was already on my nail, but it just, I, I knew it was gonna take too long. So I cut off the nail and I was just gonna soak off this nail to take it off because I put primer on these nails so it was gonna be hard. I couldn't just like rip it off of my finger. So I went ahead and filed it down as thin as I could and I soaked off all the excess that I couldn't get off with acetone. Here's our new nail that we have. I'm just going to be matching this nail to the rest of the nail set. I'm doing exactly what I did on the middle finger on this nail. So I'm doing a heart glitter ombre. And I'm starting off with the clear on the tip and then adding the glitters. And then I'm going to be encapsulating with the clear poly gel. After all the nails are done, finally, and actually are like looking good, I'm going to reshape these nails using my McCart Dust Collector and my hand file. So if you guys are interested in this Model 1's all-in-one salon kit, I definitely recommend it because it has everything that you need. It has poly gels and gel polish colors, but they're not really polishes, they're in those little containers. I really do like the colors and I think the colors are really cute. I definitely could have used them more in this nail set, but I was just really stumped on what to do because I really wanted to do some ombres with the hearts and i don't know i just didn't have a right nude color i feel so i just went with the clear poly gel and the heart glitters i didn't use the nail lamp but i know it does work because when i first started poly gel i used to live off of those nail lamps that come with the kits if you are looking for a good beginner kit like you just want to start and have everything i feel like this is a good option for you because you have the gel polishes so you can practice painting on the nails and then you have the poly gels and you have everything you need i feel like the only thing you would need are some nail tips because no no to the dual forms i feel like dual forms are just too hard and i've been doing poly gel for a long time and i still don't even i still not even good at dual forms to give that to beginners i'm not just saying for this kit i'm saying for all poly gel kits i know poly gel is supposed to be like quick at home nail system but dual forms are just way too hard i feel like nail tips is just so much easier to glue on the nail tips shape the nail tips and put the poly gel on top of that let me know what you guys think in the comments i think doing nail tips is way easier than doing dual forms because dual forms you have to put the right amount of poly gel it just seeps out of the sides all the time anyway i could complain about dual forms like forever <laughs> yeah let me know if you guys think dual forms are easier or nail tips but anyway i do recommend the kit all the information for it will be in the description it's a i feel like it's a good beginner kit you don't have to like go here buy this buy this buy that it just all comes in one kit information for it will be in the description
So after I'm done with all the shaping, I'm going to be using these nail charms that I got from Amazon. Once again, I do not recommend these because they were $8 and you get five tiny charms. I thought they were going to be big and that's why I was willing to spend the $8 because I'm like, wow, I really just want some big nail charms on my nails. I think that would look so cute. The only nice one that I think is at least a little bit decent is this heart gem which i think is really cute because it's really big but the rest of them what a disappointment i also really like the lip ones but everything else no <laughs> So after I'm done with that, I'm going in and finishing this look with some top coat basically. Unfortunately, I feel like the gold shimmer looked like bubbles in the clear nails. That was a little bit sad. And then also like the underside of the nails. In this clip, they're like really cloudy because I didn't put top coat on the underside yet. I feel like the gold shimmer really made it look a little bubbly, which I didn't like. So I'm gonna be honest, I feel like these nails just didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted them. They're not bad um i feel like like the design of the nails is really good i feel like the execution is not the best Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some dipped in dusted nails cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. I don't think this is my favorite nail set that I've done, honestly. Just feel like the nail tips didn't help with making this nail set nice because I don't know if it's because of the shape of the nail tips or what, but my nails just, they look, a, they look a little funny, I don't know. But I'm imagining if I did this with my extra long nail tips and I cut them down and they would've been very nice and square, I know that would've looked good. The design's cute, the craft, not so much. I did this nail set a little bit late at night, so yeah, I was getting a little frustrated with it. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video anyway. It shows you that I don't always make perfect nail sets in poly gel, you know, isn't always the easiest. <laughs> So it just takes a lot of practice. I'm still practicing every time I do a nail set. I hope you guys did enjoy though. I'm very excited for all the Valentine's Day nails that I can do. Um, hopefully they'll be way better than this set, which I am I bet they will be. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.